supplémentary electrochemical cell data analysis. The table below shows the standard reduction potential of several half cells. Half cells and its E known, the unit is volts. Aluminum 3 plus, you need 3 electrons to deposited aluminum and the value of E known is negative 1.66. Second, I2 gaining 2 electrons to produce 2 I minus and E node value is positive 0 0.53. SN4 plus ion gaining 2 electron to produce SN2 plus positive 0 0.14 volt is E node. FE3 plus gaining 1 mole of electron to produce FE2 plus. The E node value is positive 0 0.77. And FE2 plus plus 2 electron produce Fe, the value of E node is negative 0.44 volts. Arrange the species in order of increasing strength of reducing agent. Explain your answer. From the table, we can conclude that Fe2 plus ion is the smallest compared to aluminum as a reducing agent. The more negative the E naught values, the easier for the species to lose electrons which undergo oxidation process. So thus, the stronger it is as a reducing agent. Number two, state the factors that affect the quantity of product form in electrolytic cell and explain the law or principle applied. The factors of variables are first, duration or time taken for the process of electrolysis. Second, magnitude of electrical current we can determine from a meter reading. Principle apply is Faraday's first law. Faraday's first law states that the amount of product form, mass of substance or volume of gas liberated is directly proportional to the quantity of electrical charge passed during electrolysis which is M that is proportional with the capital letter of Q. Question 3 is the question of calculation to find the value of Faraday's constant. The question is, in an electrolysis of aqueous chromium salt, a current of 0.04 ampere, which is coulomb per second, is passed for 15 minutes, 27 seconds. The mass of chromium deposited is 6.640 times 10 to the power of negative 3 gram. Find the value of Faraday's constant. Formula of Q equal to I times T. Substitute the value given and the value of Q is 37.6. 08 coulomb. Then the moles of chromium calculated by the mass divided with molar mass. The value is 1.277 times 10 to the power of negative 4 mole. The equation is chromium ion gaining 3 electrons to deposited chromium. And then for 1 mole of chromium deposited, equivalent with 3 mole farad. 3 mole farad could be de determined from 3 moles of electron. From experiment, the moles of chromium equivalent to the value of Faraday equivalent to the 37.08 coulomb. And finally, the value of 1 Faraday equivalent with 97,322 coulomb.
The answer for the student calculation could be accepted close to 95,500 Coulomb to 97,500 Coulomb. That's all. Thank you.